So there are three main types of dynamic rope. There's single, half, and twin ropes, and a few that kind of cross the boundaries between all three. Now a single rope is one rope that's used by itself. It's often pretty tough and can take loads of falls. It's the kind of rope you use if you're a sport climber or you're climbing, lead climbing indoors at a climbing wall. The main thing you need to consider when buying a single rope is how thick it is. So for example, this is a really thick rope. It's 10.4 millimeters by Sterling, it's called the Marathon Sport. Or you get something thinner like this Petzl uh, Voltra Guide at nine millimeters. Generally, the thicker the rope, the tougher it is and the more falls it will take. But the lighter the rope, the better it is for red pointing. So if you're sending like a really hard red point project, you want something really light attached to you. Also, a thinner rope is a little bit nicer when you're belaying. So personally, I tend to buy a thicker rope when I sport climb. That's because I need it to work hard. I don't want it sort of breaking early on. But if you're really sending hard and you want the best of the best, spend a bit of money. Get something really thin and nice to handle. Just be aware that it won't last as long as this big, thick bad boy. Can I say that? Am I allowed to say big, thick bad boy? <laughs> So personally, I think it's a really good idea to have a dedicated indoor climbing rope. That's because indoors you're going to take more falls on your rope and scrape it up a bit more. So if you get a dedicated indoor one, it's going to make the lifespan of your outdoor rope a bit longer. Get something like this. This is the Edelwood uh, entrance line. It's 35 meters, so shorter than a big outdoor rope. That's because indoor walls aren't that high. I tend to keep mine in the back of my car, so it's always there for the climbing wall. Or if you get friendly with the gym, you can just keep it in the gym. It's a really good idea and it will save you money in the long run. The way you can tell that a single rope is a single rope is this little symbol here on the packaging or on the end of the rope. And of course, all the information is on the website. So that single rope's done. Let's move on to half ropes. Half ropes are mainly used by trad or alpine climbers. There's two ropes that you generally clip into alternative pieces of gear as you move up the wall. They're great for routes that wander across the cliff when using a single rope would create loads of rope drag. I'll tell you what, this is a rubbish way of explaining it. Let me show you. Okay, so this is my cliff. The crosses are gear placements and these red pens, the green is half rope number one and the red is half rope number two. This is me being amazing. So the ropes, would clip into alternate bits of gear. So it would go through here to the climber, and then half rope two would go to the climber. This minimalizes the rope drag. So I'm gonna clip my fingers and have a completely blank board again. If I was using a single rope represented by this blue pen, then the rope would be really convoluted. So you can see there's loads of twists in the rope and the rope drag would be horrendous for the climber. Use half ropes for twisty ropes. Ropes? Roots. So, half ropes tend to be thinner than single ropes. That's because you can spread the force of the fallout through both ropes. They're also fantastic for tying together and doing really long abseils. For this reason, I always use half ropes when out in the big mountains. That ability, that flexibility to run away quickly when things go wrong is invaluable. Personally, I use tendon ropes like these uh, tendon lows. They're really, really thin and absolutely bomber so far. You can tell half ropes are half ropes because of this little half symbol on the packaging or again on the end of the rope and of course on our website. So twin ropes, we don't really have dedicated twin ropes here at the Epic TV shop, but we have something similar like these Beal Gully ropes. They come as a pair together. Now with twin ropes, you're meant to clip them into protection or quick drawers or ice screws together. So two ropes in one drawer. You can't use them like half ropes in alternative bits of gear. Now the advantages of twin ropes are that they're very, very light because they're so thin. Again, you can tie them together to rappel off quickly and long, big abseils. And also, if one of your ropes gets damaged by rockfall, you do have a backup rope. Now, obviously, you're not really meant to fall on the backup rope, but for peace of mind, there is that option. So you can tell it's a twin rope because it has uh, these little symbols here. And of course, on the end of the rope, which you can't, probably can't really see from that angle. Um, and of course, all the information is on the website. So that's twin ropes done. One final type of rope, so bear with me. 
These are seriously cool and fairly expensive. This is the Beale Opera. Now it's really thin at 8.4 millimeters, but it's rated for all three types. So it's a single rope, half rope, and a twin rope. That means that you can take this sport climbing and fall on it like a single rope. You can buy two of them and use them as half ropes, or buy two of them and use them as twin ropes. For your hardest red point projects, or for when weight is seriously the key, you need a rope like this. They are incredible, they are amazing. Yes, they are expensive. But, you know, we all love gear, right? So you know when a rope can do everything when it has all three symbols on the packaging, on the end of the rope, and of course, on the website. Okay, ropes done. So as mentioned at the beginning of the show, instead of doing a competition this week, we're just giving away a massive discount on all our ropes. This is gonna run from Friday at about 6 p.m. till Monday at about 12 o'clock at night. The code is MATROPE10. Put that in at checkout and you get 10% off every rope. Absolute bargain. Now, last week's winner of the competition, which was our chalk comment, uh, was a winner from our website, you commented beneath the video on our website, called Polvini1 who wanted to know more about eco chalk, so chalk that's a bit more friendly to the rock. And also uh, he wants to know how you deal with situations when you can't use chalk. For example, in the Czech Republic, you're not really allowed to use it. Now, I'll be honest, I don't really know anything about eco chalk. So if you know how to answer his question, log on to our website, not YouTube, the website and answer his comment. Thanks. So we haven't really got time to do a full unboxing on today's show, but I have to show you a brilliant little bit of gear, which is this. Petzl Spartha knife, which you can attach onto your harness. Now I've been in situations where I'm on a big alpine route and I've got a rope jammed when abseiling. Sometimes you have no choice but to cut the rope. If you don't have one of these, you can be in real, real trouble. This is a great bit of kit and it's super cheap. No reason not to always carry one. So that's it for today's show. If you guys wanna buy any of the ropes we've talked about today, I'll put a link into the shop below. As usual, please leave your comments about gear or ropes in general beneath the video. I want to know how you use ropes, what brands you use, which do you find reliable, which don't last long. Tell me everything. Thanks for watching, guys.